and come to this video and if new welcome to my channel well it's time for another empty videos and this is all of my empties from january that i want to show you guys and if you want to see what products i'm going to talk about please keep on watching okay so the first product is these four plus two big pure lady shavers now uh here i got six of them this is uh like three blade shavers and uh, they worked fine they are not my best but they worked fine i don't use uh, this often because i do use other product to remove my body hair but it's not bad and then i'm probably going to repurchase these they are they are cheap they are not expensive and it's they're nice to have with me when i travel the other product that i really enjoyed is this briogeo briogeo don't the don't despair repair deep conditioning hair cap system this is two in one kit hair repair system i've talked about this in my on my channel i reviewed this i'm going to put the link down below or the card up here so you can watch that video but i do like this mask and definitely something i'm i'm going to repurchase then i also use this is the beauty formulas gentle soft apricot cleansing facial wipes now I didn't use everything because they dried very fast. They weren't very good. Uh, they didn't remove anything. So I didn't use them for removing my makeup. I kind of used them to remove my swatches when I was filming. So I don't, didn't really like this. They really dried out very fast and definitely not something I'm going to repurchase. Then I did use, uh, this is the Swedish Gumri. I think I, you pronounce this in English. This is also makeup remover wipes. I kind of like these. These are very cheap. They work okay. So I did use them to remove my makeup, but not all the time because I have other things to remove my makeup that I kind of prefer more. If you hear someone talking, it's my son playing outside, uh, outside my room. He kind of likes being allowed when I film. So I did like these and I did repurchase two others. I don't have them right here, but I did repurchase and definitely something I'm going to repurchase. Then guys, something I'm very sad about, uh, this is again in my empties, one of my favorite shampoo for my very damaged colored hair. I kind of love, the, love these products and uh, I did get compliments for my hair that it started starting to look much better. And I'm definitely going to repurchase them, not right now because I did order another type of product for damage, another shampoo for damaged hair that I really wanted to review. I did watch another youtuber i don't remember her name right now but i'm going to show you in my other videos that shampoo and i'm going to talk about it so i'm going to tell you where i saw it i got curious to try that product so that's why i didn't repurchase this right now but i'm definitely going to do it because this made my hair look beautiful ha looking healthy and i love this is like a conditioner and this is a shampoo love these products and I also got this serum from the same brand, uh, Keraste, Keraste, can't pronounce it. But uh, this is like two products in one serum, extremely damaged uh, length and ends, length and ends. I loved this product, but you get so little product in here. It's 30 milliliters. It's not a lot product and it is a little bit expensive. But definitely I'm going to order again. It smells so nice. This product smells beautiful. I love this. And I did, guys. If you watch my videos, you know I talked about this hair mask. This is a garlic vatica hair mask. I did. This is deep conditioning hair mask. It's repair and restore for weak breakage, uh, breaking hair. Weak breaking hair. This doesn't smell garlic at all. I did empty it. It's empty you see i'm definitely going to repurchase this again now i have other from the same brand but other i think i have cactus and egg uh, hair mask that i want to use before i repurchase this but this this is nice and it's not expensive it's 139 swedish crowns it's around 13 dollars if i'm not wrong but i love this hair mask you put it on after shampoo and conditioner, you put it on after shampooing your hair, you put it on for 50 minutes, then you rinse your hair and it's so smooth, nice, and it looks healthy, I love it. 
And of course, I did finish one of my favorite uh, foundation. This is Double Wear Stay in Place foundation. This is in shade 2C3 Fresco. I love this foundation and I think I had it one or twice in my other empty videos. I love this foundation. Definitely something I'm going to repurchase. Actually, I already have a new bottle in here. Let me show you. Where is it? Here, I already have a new one. I'm not, never going to be without this. Now, I do use right now this one. This is also from Estee Lauder. It's the same shade. Uh, this is Double Wear Nude Water Fresh Makeup. Now, it's not as full coverage as this one, but right now when my ski skin looks healthier and feels much better, it kind of is enough with this. This coverage is enough for my skin right now. I love this foundation also. It kind of wears the same way as this one, but this one is a little bit more full coverage. Now I love it. Love both of them. Oh, I'm empty. I'm going to throw away. Then I also used one or more of these uh, hyaluronic filler concentrate concentrated. This is hyal uh, hyaluronic filler that I use um, uh, before I put any uh, eye, cr eye cream or any face cream. I use this every morning and every night. I love this. I found my wrinkles and my fine lines less deep, not as deep as they were before. And uh, kind of like this product. Definitely something I'm going to repurchase. I have like four of these left to use and I like it. Then I finished my Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. I like this spray. It did a nice job. I don't like the smell of it. I kind of don't like any smell of any setting spray that I have right now. I didn't like the smell of it, but it did a nice job. Def will I repurchase it? Definitely. Why not? Actually, I already have a couple of other setting sprays that I'm trying out, so I'm not going to repurchase this right away, but I do like it. It's a nice product and I do recommend this product. Now, I did finish my Pure Clay Expo Mask from L'Oreal. It's a very nice face mask. This exfoliated my skin beautifully. It feels, leaves my skin very clean, very nice. And I like it. Definitely some to, something I'm going to repurchase. I love this L'Oreal face mask. I love them. Then, uh, I have two products left I'm going to show you guys. Now, I did finish... Finally, this is Nurturing Body Butter. I love pink mash marshmallow. Smells delicious. It does smell delicious. Uh, I did finally finish it. It took me a while. I'm not, I'm kind of lazy using these products. I do need to use them more, but I'm kind of lazy. Smelled nice. Uh, will I repurchase it? Probably not. It was a nice body product, but I have others that work better than this one. My skin is a little bit too dry it and it needs more moisturizing products than this one. It's a nice product. Would I, re would I recommend it? Yes, I would. Would I repurchase this? Maybe not this uh, marshmallow. It does smell so nice, but I kind of like trying new products all the time. So I do recommend it, but uh, probably not something I'm going to repurchase something I'm going to repurchase over and over again. I you know, already did. This is the Decubal Basic, I think, Organal Clinic Cream for dry and sensitive skin. Nurturing uh, and moisturizing cream for daily skin care. No perfume, no parabens, no color, colorants. Colorants? I think I pronounced that right. I don't know. I'm kind of too tired right now. I filmed a couple of videos and I, and I don't even know what I'm talking about. Now, I'm all over the place. I'm talking about this cream. This is something that my sister gave to me. Uh, she tried it. She did use this and her daughter used this, but they didn't really like the smell. It says no perfume, but it has strange smell. It doesn't have nice smell smell at all. This is a very heavy cream. Now what I want to see say heavy, it's this is an empty one. I already repurchased a new one. It's thick and I don't like this packaging. It breaks very easily. Now it's a very thick cream. Doesn't I don't like the smell. It smells doesn't smell nice but it kind of disappears very fast. 
So this is a very, very thick cream. I have to say to you guys that I have very dry skin on my legs. It's so dry that it sometimes when I take off my clothes, you can see my dead skin falling everywhere. It's just disgusting. I hate it sometimes. And I always tried different products. I did try this one. I tried many products to moisturize my skin, especially when after showering. And um, during the winter is more dry than during the summer, of course. Of course, so I needed that will keep my skin moisturized and keep my legs very smooth and very moisturized. So this did moisturize them, my my legs, but after an hour it started looking dry again. And she did use a little bit of this cream. She told me that they didn't like the smell and she gave it to me to try this. I fell in love with this cream. This is something that really moisturized my skin. It is a little bit heavy, but it sinks into my skin very fast. It doesn't feel heavy later. My legs stay smooth. They stay moisturized. They still stay uh, soft. And I love this cream. So I did repurchase it. They have children version of this cream. Again, I don't know what's the difference, but it's for children. And this one I bought for myself because it's very nice cream. I love it. I use it every night and my skin on my legs uh, stays moisturized and soft. Love it. Yeah, guys, that was everything. I hope you like this video. If you have some questions, please let me down below. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.